Thanks much, Alan. Well, a landmark proposal by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration could have a profound impact on those who use hearing aids. The plan is to make them more affordable and available to customers without a prescription. The proposed FDA rule has been pushed by three presidents beginning with Barack Obama and would establish a new category of over-the-counter hearing aids. They would be sold directly to customers in stores or online without the need for a medical exam or a fitting by an audiologist. It's a lot like being able to buy reading glasses from a drugstore. Tom Birdside with the Deaf and Hard of Hearing Center, a nonprofit group in Corpus Christi, says it is a move that could help a certain segment of people. And if you read the FDA, what it is, is it's those that have a mild hearing loss, a mild to moderate hearing loss. So it's a very, very small select group of people that's actually designed to help. The devices would still be regulated by the agency to ensure that they are safe and effective. The hope, however, is that the plan will allow new companies to join the market, thus lowering costs. The average price of hearing aids are probably two to three thousand dollars each. So you're talking four to six thousand dollars is is probably the normal price for a pair of hearing aids if you go now. But then again, that's because if you look at them, they are a medical device that is a prescription. While the draw to convenience and cheaper prices is often irresistible, Burnside cautions that it should not eliminate the work done by medical professionals. First, because you need to know what's causing your hearing loss. And second, because better hearing is not just about having more volume. About the tones we hear, it's not about volume. So what you have to do is you have to identify the tones and amplify particular tones for actually somebody to hear better. Keep in mind that you can often get a free hearing test at a health fair or even at some medical offices. Now, although the FDA declined to set a timeline for finalizing and publishing the new rule, officials say that enacting it quickly is a top priority.